Yo, 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 it's your boy Dingo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get diamond camo for your snipers. This video is going to include a full 360 and first person perspective of every gun, also a list of every challenges necessary to get them diamond, so you can figure out if getting your favorite gun diamond is worth it. If you snipe all the time, it's definitely worth it. But if you only occasionally snipe, is it worth getting your favorite diamond? Before you put in all that work, watch this video and make sure your gun is worth getting diamond. Alright, first things first, you need to get 250 one shot, one kills to unlock the challenges that go along with each gun. After you've gotten the 250 one shot, one kills, then you unlock the gun challenges. For snipers, the challenges are all the same. Your first challenge will be to get 10 long shot medals, if you can even consider that a challenge. 10 long shots with the sniper rifle? Check. Moving on. The second challenge is going to be 50 kills with no perks. The third challenge is 50 kills with no attachments on your gun. I suggest doing challenge 2 and 3 at the same time, get those two annoying challenges done fast as possible, and put them in the past. Challenge 4 is to earn 5 double kill medals, and the last challenge is to get 10 bloodthirsty medals. After getting the 250 one shot one kills and completing the 5 challenges, you unlock gold camo for that gun. You'll need to repeat the 250 one shot one kills and the 5 challenges for all 4 sniper rifles to get diamond camo. Just want to take a brief moment out to thank you for clicking that like button right now. It's free to you and it helps me. I think out of all the weapons in this game, snipers are probably the easiest to get diamond and all look really sweet in diamond. I thought, well, we still have a little time left. I would give you some advice on getting your sniper's diamond. Every sniper has its own advantages and disadvantage. Each gun has an area it's best suited to. The SVU is a great gun if you're the kind of sniper that likes to constantly be on the move. It doesn't have a lot of power, usually requiring two shots to kill people, but what it lacks in power, it makes up in fire rate and mobility. It's the only sniper rifle that you can spray and pray due to its high fire rate, and it doesn't weigh you down like most snipers do, so you can really move with it. The DSR is a sniper rifle by all terms. It's best used for actually sniping. Hard scoping in on your targets, this gun drops people and has reasonable fire rate and clip size. The Ballista is most likely the best sniper for trick shotting, such as quick scoping. Its bolt action has very minimal amount of time before you can fire the next shot. It's also the only sniper that you can get rid of the sights and actually take it down to the iron sights. The XPR is a kind of a grab bag of all the snipers combined. It has a slow fire range, but makes up for it in accuracy and distance shots. When getting your 250 one shot one kills, I really suggest taking the SVU and the XPR into hardcore to get these one shot one kills done. If you are a hardcore player and a sniper, the SVU is probably going to be your best friend. In core, everything that isn't a headshot with the SVU is a two-shot kill. The XPR kills in one if it's in the chest or up, but everything else is, is two-shot kills. But if you play hardcore, you can get both of these guns, their 250 one-shot one kills, done really quickly and efficiently. Make sure to tune in for the next episode where I'll be taking you through Diamond LMGs. And if you missed the last episode on SMGs, be sure to check that out. Thanks again for hitting that like button. And as always, I've been Dingo, and you stay classy.